Even four months have passed since 164 dogs were seized by animal control. You'll remember this video of crews hauling the dogs out of the back of a U-Haul. While the case lingers in the district attorney's office, Chief Investigator Darcy Spears found the story is starting all over again. 164 Pomeranians crammed in crates in the back of a U-Haul truck without food, water, or ventilation. Maria gets the guard's attention here. The dog's owned by Noella Velasco, a 1970s B-movie actress who's been illegally breeding animals for years. We discovered a truck with 164 Pomeranians in it in Nevada. Why has she not been charged with that? Um, there was certainly a lot of outrage. The Clark County DA says the case is still under review, pending additional information that they did not disclose. In the meantime, the Sandy Valley resident is once again amassing animals. In the original bust, all the dogs were not there, and we feared that. The bust, engineered by Nevada Voters for Animals, happened on November 30th, but just two weeks ago, San Bernardino County Animal Control found 18 Pomeranians on Velasco's property. They issued multiple citations for failure to spay and neuter, no rabies vaccinations, and for the dogs not being licensed. Code enforcement authorities also cited Velasco for having too many animals. Only four would be allowed, plus insufficient sanitary drainage, unlawful structures and excessive rubbish. That was based on what they could see from the street because she denied them permission to enter the property. In this new video obtained by Contact 13, you can hear dogs barking behind the plywood fencing neighbors say Velasco extended after the U-Haul incident. On March 27th, she also received this notice of violation for permitting animals to go without proper care and attention. That after authorities found a female Pomeranian named Scotch suffering from a leg injury, the animal had not been taken to a vet. Velasco didn't return our multiple calls for comment. Who's going to stop her? That's what I want to know is who's going to stop her? Because she clearly isn't going to stop on her own. Velasco faces penalties of more than $5,000 from those administrative citations. California authorities have given her until April 24th to fix the code enforcement violations, but say more could be coming if they get a warrant to inspect the property. Whether anything will happen in Nevada remains to be seen. Darcy Spears, 13 Action News. It was just another beautiful day.